reliable PDF protector to make documents safer, the easiest way to keep your documents safe. Hi, my name is George and welcome back to the Wondershare PDF Element YouTube channel. We all know it's important to project confidence and guarantee safety for our customers, but the quick technological innovation of today means that this becomes increasingly complicated. For this reason, we're going to share with you some of our most effective methods that we have found to protect PDF documents. Stick with me in this video and I'll show you everything you need to be able to make your PDF documents much safer. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Every day, many of us share PDFs that we do not want to be redistributed or contain sensitive information. Even knowing the risks that this entails, I'm sure you have wondered if there's an easy way to be able to protect this information. The answer is yes, and I'm sure you'll be happy to know that it's not difficult at all. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this to protect your PDFs using these steps. Encrypt PDF with password, easily protect PDF from copying, printing, or editing, redact PDF in one click, and quickly search and redact information. Before we go any further, please make sure you've got the latest version of PDF Element installed on your device. If you haven't, you can go to the download link in the description to get your free download. Number one, set password. Imagine that you've closed a sale and your customer has just signed the contract. It is a fact that once the contract is signed, it must not be modified in any way, neither by you nor your client. In addition, because it may contain sensitive data, no one else should be able to read it. This is part of the daily life for anyone in business and due to the nature of contracts, protecting them is vital. Protecting a PDF document with a password is the easiest way to ensure that unauthorized people cannot open your documents. This is thanks to an enhanced cryptography technique that encrypts our document's content. With PDF Element, you can use this powerful encryption technology to protect your PDFs with just a few clicks. Let me show you how to use this. Open PDF Element and click on the Open PDF button and use the Windows File Explorer to open your document. Go to the Protect section and click on the Set Password Protect option. Enable the Open Password option and enter a password. Word. Next, choose an encryption method. In this case, I'll use the 128-bit AES option. When finished, simply click on Save. To finish, save your document by clicking the Save As button from the File menu. Using the Windows File Explorer, select the location where you want to save your document and click Save. Your document is now password protected, so every time you open it, a pop-up window will appear where you must enter the correct password to visualize the content of the PDF. As you can see, encrypting the content of your PDF is not difficult and this will help your customers feel much more secure. Now I want to give you another tip to protect your PDFs. But this time we're going to focus on situations where passwords are not the best option. Number two, protect PDFs. For designers, sharing files with their clients is necessary to ask for feedback and to create designs tailored to their clients' needs, just like when designing personalized resumes. Therefore, one of the main concerns of designers is that their files may be redistributed and modified without their authorization. With PDF Element, we can make PDF files read only. In this way, a password will be required before you can extract images, modify text, or make changes to the content. This can even restrict printing options. Fascinating, right? Let me show you how to do this. Open PDF Elements, click on the Open PDF button and use the Windows File Explorer to open your document. Go to the Protect section and click on the Set Password option. Check the Permission Password option and enter a password. Then set any permission restrictions you deem necessary using the drop-down menus and choose an encryption method. When everything is ready, click on Save. To finish, save your document using the Save As option from the File menu. Using the the Windows File Explorer, select the location where you want to save your document and click Save. Your document is now read-only. This means that no one will be able to make any changes to your document unless they enter the password that you set. If you go to the Edit section, you will notice that the editing options are disabled. My favorite part about making your PDFs read-only is that you can combine this with other security strategies, such as placing watermarks. From now on, you will never have to worry about your designs or information being modified or redistributed without your authorization. Now I'd like to go further into how to protect your information, focusing on situations where you need other people to read the document. Number three, redact PDF. Imagine that you have a contract that contains social security numbers, names of minor children, or even dates of birth, and you need to share this document to be signed. This scenario is typical for lawyers. In these cases, protecting the specific data to protect the privacy of your client according to law is important. For these situations, where you need to protect only specific data, the most appropriate solution is to block it out or redact it. With PDF Element, you can do this quite easily. This way, no one can see what's there no matter what they do. To block out sensitive data in your documents, just follow these steps. Open PDF Element and click on the Open PDF button and use the Windows File Explorer to open your document. Go to the Protect section and click the Mark for Redaction option. Then, select the area of your document that you want to black out. When you finish selecting all the areas that you want to black out, go to the Protect section and click Apply 
apply reduction. You will now see a confirmation pop-up. Just click continue. You will now see that the areas you have selected have been blacked out. Now, save your document by clicking on the save as option from the file menu. Using the Windows File Explorer, select the location where you want to save your document and click save. That was very easy, right? It's almost as easy as highlighting text, but this way you've protected important data. Before we finish, I want to give you one last tip that will help you automate this process on a large document. Number four, search and redact. Sometimes you may need to redact a word or phrase that is repeated multiple times throughout a document. This is quite common with companies that produce hardware, since they need to release technical reports without revealing the product's name. For these cases, you can use PDF Elements Search and Redact tool. This feature will help you black out certain words by searching for them throughout the document and redacting them automatically. Open PDF Element and click on the Open PDF button. Then use the Windows File Explorer to open your document. Go to the tool section and click the OCR button. Check the Scan to Searchable Text in Image option. Then check the All Pages option and choose the language of your document. When everything is ready, click Apply. Wait a few seconds for this process to finish. Now go to the Protect section and click on the Search and Redact button. You will see a search panel appear on the left side of the window. Enter the words that you want to black out and checklist to select the words that you are going to black out. When everything is ready, click on the Apply All Marks button. You will see a confirmation pop up. Just click Continue. Then wait for the redactions to be applied. Now you will see all the words were blacked out. To finish, simply save the document by clicking the Save As button in the file menu. Using the Windows File Explorer, select the location where you want to save your document and click Save. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. I love this tool because it's so versatile and it makes it easy to protect my PDFs using powerful security technology. How about I show you my favorite method to protect PDFs in just three steps. First, I open my document using PDF Element. Then I protect the document with a password using the Set Password option in the Protect section. Finally, I use the Mark for Redaction tool from the Protect section to black out sensitive information. By combining these security strategies, I am sure the sensitive data in my document is fully protected. Before finishing this video, I would first like to answer some of the questions that we have been frequently asked in the comment section. Remember that if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments and we'll answer them in this section in future videos. Our first question is how to protect PDFs from copying. With PDF Elements Set Password tool, by enabling the Permission Password option, you can enable or disable the Enable Copying Text, Images, and Other Content option. How to remove password protection from PDF. Removing password protection from PDF is quite simple. First, open the PDF and enter the password. Then go to the Protect section and click on the Set Password option. In the Security Settings window, please make sure Open Password and Permission Password options are disabled and click Save. To finish, save the changes in your document by clicking the Save option in the File menu. How to make PDFs read only. Making a PDF read only is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is use the Set Password tool from the Protect section, then enable the Permission Password option and make sure to restrict the changes permissions. Those were all the questions we have time to answer today. Make sure to drop your questions in the comment section below and we'll answer those in this section in future videos. This was all about this reliable PDF protector to make documents safer. Protecting your PDFs is always a wise choice and I'm sure you'll find plenty of ways to use these tools to your advantage. Personally, I'm pleased that I can protect my PDFs because it helps me and my clients feel much safer when sharing sensitive information. Before we finish the video, I would just like to thank you for staying till the end. It would mean the world to us if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any specific videos you're looking for, go into our channel and search for the keywords that you're interested in. We look forward to bringing you more helpful tips and tricks to be able to use your PDF editors with ease. See you next time.